What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? My name is Jace Machine. I am fueled by coffee and driven by insanity. And today we are checking out the progression build on my destroyer. So here we have the first portion of my destroyer build. This is the uh, the bridge and upper deck area. I'm not exactly sure what this part of the ship is called. If you know, let me know in the comments section below. It is going to be quite dark in here, but you can just see where I've been running power lines. Uh, the idea was that I was going to run different systems in the floors, between the floors, and just use uh, like the uh, half plates to, to cover it up. And up here we have an interesting barred front. This was just to add a little bit more defense. And then here was a little, uh, a little enclosed area so you can not get murdered upon leaving the bridge. The bridge itself has changed a lot. These were just placeholder systems originally. I mean, some of them are still that way, but as you see the progression, you'll see how that's changed. Uh, here are the little bedrooms for the captain and the first mate or whatever. <laughs> Very bare bones, with just simple blocks put in here for to indicate like a bed. Now this is based off of the USS uh, Fletcher, the uh, the Fletcher class destroyer, and I was trying to get it as close as I could, um, while still taking a few liberties here and there. Uh, here are the initial stairs put in. And I really like to do this little. I don't know, not necessarily this every time, but I like to do different angled bits coming in, tapering into themselves. It's not exactly the word I'm looking for, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Especially if you guys have seen my videos in the past, you know how I do those stairs. You know how I do those stairs, you know. Uh, indicator of where I should be placing my torpedo racks. And here as well come down into the back portion of the ship and see how I just ran power strips straight down the middle and then started to pack them in with capacitators. All right, I think it's time we go to the next transition. All right, here is the second portion where I've actually, you can see that I've added uh, places for the turrets. And we have a little bit of an indication of an actual deck here. We've extended the uh, the ship back further. I wasn't sure what I was going to do back here, so I put in ramps and stuff. You'll see how that ended up being handled. And I put in a lot of thrust into the floors. I figured we'll put the thrust into the ship as we go. We intended to put, uh, and I did, of course, actually put in thrusters on the ship, but those are mostly decorative. So there you go. Let's see. We got these stacks detailed out. I really like the way these came out. Uh, the indicators are now actually turret locations. And we have a new indicator as well. Did I fill these yet? Come out here and this, this is sort of like a depth gauge. I put this here so I would know basically uh, where I needed to stop and do my proportions and all that. Okay, any changes in the main part here? Yeah, you can see that I tried a two bar method. We're still using the same sort of encapsulated uh, doorway areas we have a display added anything new anything else doesn't look like it all right this is stage three of the build uh, we have the actual front nose prowl area portion of the ship uh, designated with uh, the thrusters there and we have this little arm over here. This was just to keep it docked uh, to a space station while I was working on it, so pirates wouldn't be able to mess with it. The uh, the top part here is still uh, being fleshed out. Clearly, I'm keeping the two-bar method in place. And I don't know if these were in the last transition or not, but we've added turrets for there. And of course, we can see that the torpedo racks are in place. Now, these things I haven't finished yet. I know Top was saying that he absolutely hates the way these look. And you know what? You're right. We have more turret locations. More turrets uh, docking areas have been added. And here I was trying to work out the distance and spacing for the, the rear turrets. 
Let's see if there's anything interesting inside. Nope, doesn't look like it. We're just sort of giving an indication of where the floors are. And these guys right here, again, showing exactly the distance between the floors. And again, it's the sandwich method for my floors and ceilings here. So we're using a half slab for the top there. We have the system representation, and then we have the, uh, the one fourth slab for our ceiling. Okie doke, we got a turret loaded on the front here. I think this was the first stab at the design for the turret. It was okay, I guess. Um, I messed with this design a lot until it actually mutated into the one that I'm currently using. I think that the main problem was I was clearly hitting this and I didn't have full rotation or movement for that. Let's see, what are some other things, other changes uh, the positioning of these turrets has moved, for example. Um, we've changed the front of the bridge area, removed the bars completely. Let's see, have we added any interiors to this? Nope. And how about this? Anything new has been added? Yes, no? Okay. Alright. Next. All right, we've come to the fifth iteration where apparently I thought those turrets were just fine and duplicated them, put them here, and we also have them extended out here on the back as well. I finally made my decisions on how far back this needed to be and decided that we were going to enclose this because it didn't really match the drawings that I was looking at. I even have the first indication of this little uh, outpost outlook. I don't even know. I don't I don't even know what, what I'm supposed to be saying. What do you say at times like these, you know? All right, next iteration. Now we started adding the anti-missile turrets, but we've been having problems with them. They load in at really crazy angles. Uh, this doesn't help. <laughs> Look at it, it's sunk into the floors here on all sides of them. Look at this one, this is on a flat surface. And it is sunken into the back. I don't know why it's doing that. So basically, every time I reload this ship, uh, at least at this stage, I had to re-correct all of the turrets, including these guys. These, these guys were not sitting right either. Okay, let's go on to the next version of the ship. Now, at this point, I actually wanted to see what the shape of the hull would look like, so we actually put this in. And uh, a little indicator for a flag, I guess this would be... I was trying out what it would look like if we had an anchor. So I sort of put these blocks in. You can see that the slabs in the deck are getting changed up. Uh, I wanted to go with a uniformed uh, half slab. And here I also changed out the actual color because it started off as black. Not only did it start off as black, but it also started off as different types of hull. Really, I was batting a thousand here. Let's see what else I've gotten done on this version. Here are the actual uh, the engines in the back. Those go along with all the, the engines that run through the actual ship itself. Uh, and the hint of the rudder. This part here is a just loose detail. Uh, again, we're just putting in systems, squeezing in things here. The shields I started putting in. I knew this thing needed to have some damn good shields if it was going to uh, stand a chance against anything else. So. That was where my focus was. Fit systems in where you can and decorate over it. Okie dokie. On to the next iteration. All right, we return to the eighth step of the ship design when I decided to cut out the front here and incorporate a docked hull. Now, some of you are gonna be like, why, why would you make a docked hull? And the answer, quite bluntly, is I just felt like trying it out, just to be honest. Um, and in planning for the docked hall, I needed to make an area for it to dock. So here's a super secret. Pushing that button will eject the hall straight down and out. And I think that it'd be, I think that it would work on the actual ship. I'm not exactly sure. I've done a lot of things to it, so I think maybe it might get caught up. Uh, but here you can see I've detailed and uh, finished up the engines on both sides here. I think they look quite sharp. 
quite striking, I say. We've added a faction module into here. We may have done that in the last uh, last iteration, but the one thing I could tell you that I've done and I've noticed, maybe it happened last time, maybe the part before, but we dropped the hooded doorway. And I think that I actually like the hooded doorway, especially after playtesting this design. You get shot at a lot. Imagine that. You can see these damned things are still crooked. Drives me nuts. Next! Now this is starting to look like a ship. I put these little uh, notches in here. I was planning on putting guns into it. And I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with the front. I was sort of reserving the right to put a nice uh, laser blade in there. But um, I'm not sure if I ended up working on the front of this hull or not. I think this may be the finished part. But that does look a little funky. I guess we'll see how it transitions if I make any changes along the way. That seems like something that would bother me even still. And if I didn't fix it by the end of this, I'm going to have to. This is a nice little, uh, little touch I did there. Sorry, it's been a while since I've really looked at this, and especially these different versions where they differ ever so slightly from the version that I'm used to working with. But this is coming along. It's definitely looking more like the one we are seeing these days. Anything in the crew or below? No. Now let's look on the inside here. This is what powers... <laughs> this is what powers the uh, the docked hull. It's got its own power and its own shielding. It is just ridiculous. And basically, I wanted it to be able to, to absorb damage. There are no guns defending this bottom portion. So it really needed to be able to hold its own. All right. So now that the ship is definitely looking like a ship, let's go to the 10th iteration and see what is different. All right, here in the 10th part, you can see that I have actually added the guns. These look like they're a little bit higher than the ones on the uh, the other ship, I think, because there is a wasted slot somewhere. Let's look in here and see what I've been doing. I think this could very well be the same version that I did, but I have I just seem to have a recollection of changing this up at some point here. It's not a huge step in the build, but it is a, an iteration just the same. There's that front. It just keeps bothering me right there. Mm, I have to do something about that. And here in this version, you can see that I indeed then changed the guns up. See, I thought there was something up. Something I remember having been changed. Ooh, a pretty light. This, uh, this light is attached to the systems here, and it's basically guns with uh, overdrive, I think. What, what are we moving here? Who's moving? Wait, what's happening? <laughs> All right, so here's an interesting bug. Why am I moving? It's not a bug. You're just an idiot. All right, we're gonna wrap up this video with iteration 12. Again, you can see that we have those guns in place. The turrets themselves seem to have taken on a different shape somewhere along the line here. I don't know how I missed that. I'm going to go back and I'll notice it in the video when I'm editing, though. You guys can also let me know which iteration it happened in, too, if you took notice. A lot of focus has been done on finishing up the hull and the outer features here. We're trying to get all these pieces put in. With the, uh, the turrets sinking into the side, I was having issues with the... Uh, I thought that maybe I was having issues with the half slabs. I really don't know what the issue was with that, but I believe what my solution was is that I come in and I will drop them all down a lot lower underneath, just in case. All right, that is going to do it for now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to return later on in another episode, and hopefully we can complete it. It might take two. The details on the interiors, um, those make a lot of changes. And uh, it takes a lot of work to finish them off. There are actually 22 parts to this. So we made it through the first 12 today. A lot of it just focusing on the exterior. And uh, 
pretty proud of this ship overall. And yeah, Top Ace, I know you're watching this video. You're right. These suck. We need to come back and address those. <laughs> we'll fix those before we do the final, final episode of this when we showcase it going up against itself in death battles or something. I don't know. We'll make something up and then we'll make it entertaining. Maybe we'll fight uh, Gmodism's uh, Valerian or whatever the heck. Uh, whatever the ship he used that his uh, his subscriber built for him. I'm not sure. He's got a lot of ships that that guy built for him. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, let me know what the verdict is in the comments section below. If you want to see more Star Made, be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new around here and are intrigued by Star Made, be sure to subscribe for more this game is going through a ton of changes, and we are expecting some major update features to come hither at the end of December, so you want to make sure not to miss it. Anyway, guys, I love you all. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time.